Hi everyone. Hello. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my first cook along YouTube video with the gorgeous Katie Hayes. KHM here. <laughs> You're in my house. We Welcome. Are in Katie's fabulous house with a gorgeous interior. Um, and we are cooking up a festive treat today. Like I'm so excited. It's what are we so nice? What are we cooking? So I'm doing, I'm doing a dish that basically all my recipes and if anyone who follows me, I just make it up as I go along. My dad taught, who taught you how to cook? Granddad. Oh, did he? My yeah. dad taught me how to cook. My mum is awful, like she's the wet. My mom, we had everything in the deep fat fryer and oh. it'd never been clean. And the house stinks. And it stinks <laughs> and all my clothes and my hair used yeah. to smell. So that. my dad taught me how to cook, so I just freestyle everything. So I'm making, what am I making? Um, You're making your your um, your famous roast Oh yeah, yeah, which I leave outside. So they've been outside overnight, we'll talk about that later. And then I'm making like a leek, potato, mushroom, garlic, cream mm. thing. I just do three potatoes. We're going to go dinner. five stone on after this dinner. Oh my God, I would do We're here for soon. it because it is Christmas. Yeah, and chin chin. <laughs> yeah, chin chin. We've got a bit of fizz. Um, so yeah, let's talk about Amanda's cookbook. So how did it start? How come you wanted to do it? How long did it talk? Well, it was, I started in lockdown as a little hobby and then... Is that when you started the page? Yeah, only in I lockdown. And then um, I started doing the recipes. Everyone was joining in. It was a nice little community that I created. Yeah. And then you know, the next thing you know, everyone was recreating the recipes and we, it was just a fun thing to do. And then that was that. And then... Um, can I just say, right, <laughs> when I got this book, like, I've got all cookbooks there, and Olive always gets them out. I was saying I couldn't find this before, what, yeah. could I? Because Oliver's had it. Because it's pink, probably. Yeah, but no, not even that. Look how, like, I've got so many cookbooks. I've got, like, um, Mary Berry, like, all the usuals, Jamie Oliver, Gordon and all that. Joe Wicks. Joe, oh, Joe Wicks got every single one. Please look on how <laughs> many recipes. I have never, and how much is the book? It's 15 I obviously didn't pay, by the way. <laughs> Gifted. She got it for free. I got mine for free. But obviously, every single recipe in this book, I have cooked already on my cooking page. Because we were in lockdown, we had nothing else to do, so I was she cooking everyone. every single night. So I made sure, obviously, it's got more in that aren't on the cooking page, but the majority of recipes I have generally cooked already um so we just thought today we would do this one before christmas and because everyone's some... messaging us like yeah. obviously i do i did on my interior i think it was before i had olive i was like domestic goddess yeah now matt, matt get barely even gets right. be no beans on toast some cereal no he doesn't <laughs> even get cereal doesn't he has he? coffee and then the other day like someone in work he took about four plain batches to work and that's what he had for his lunch in the packet and some fella oh, said to him, and where? Cruel. Does Katie not cook? Because everyone thinks I'm this domestic yeah. household, but it's I'm not now. Hard. It's two hours and you got kids. Yeah, all of I haven't got little kids, so I no. have the time. But obviously I haven't had time lately because it's Christmas and obviously I've been launching the book. The book was two weeks late with delivery. So I've been, been out of my mind. We had to put this back because the books got delivered the day we were doing our cook along. So it is actually Monday. Before Christmas, Monday so before when, Christmas. whenever this goes live or whenever you're watching it, you maybe next know. Christmas, we, we did, did it five days before Christmas. Everything that's gone wrong, <laughs> we had hair and makeup books, everything we've had Carla to do. Carla Lawson. Yeah, Carla, if you're watching, thank she you. She couldn't sort she the couldn't, kids. Yeah, she couldn't sort the kids, so even though I'm a makeup artist, I'm semi-retired now. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be bothered. No, I can't be bothered. So, so the, odds, the odds were against us today, but we're here, we've got the ingredients and we're going to do some tips and tricks. So before. what are you cooking again? So I am doing a, I'm doing a ham and the slow cooker and it's cooked in coca-cola said it's the best it's five ham. to six hours and then you cover it in maple syrup and <gasps> honey it's unbelievable I, I, I don't know i practiced it all last week is it in the book uh, no this one no I, actually there is a ham a, a slow cooked um honey ham but it's not this exact one no um it's in sexy sunday section at the end yeah you get it on so i want to know how many calories is in this thing oh my goodness like we're not calorie counting and today, i'm also we? doing um, garlic and parmesan roasted carrot. I'm also doing a sprout dish, which is garlic and parmesan sprout with loads of cream in it and bacon. Yeah, I've got cream in mine. So, I think you've got to have cream. Yeah. Matt says I do everything very sickly when it's all together. It's all very sickly. So we have got one. We've got a honey and mustard glazed gammon. So it is similar to this one. Calories and serving stuffed. I knew I was thinking. You know why you can't? I can't put the calories in the serving. Uh, the calories in on the sexy Sunday section because the, your joints. Oh my god! It's out my oil. Oh my eyes. Take it oh. out. No, I know. Oh my god! My eyes. Open the window. By the way, this is not meant to happen. <laughs> Talking. Open the window. I thought I could stop being in. Oh, great. Don't film this part. No, I think put it in. Yeah, put it in. Put it in. We all make mistakes. Yeah, we all make 
mistakes, Kai. So, because we've been talking rubbish, I've now ever burnt the oil on my eyes. It's just on too hot. <laughs> right, so the smoke has gone. My eye, my eye, my eyelashes are coming off because my eyes were watering. My eyes are streaming. Yeah, so we nearly burnt the house down. So we're gonna have a little elderflower and what drink did you get us? We need to calm down. That one's <laughs> mine. So now we're gonna start cooking and we are gonna start with the ham in the slow cooker. So let's get our gloves on. So Amanda's signature thing, I hate wearing gloves. Like I absolutely hate Why? it. But for health and safety we need to. I don't know, I just, I, I don't, have they got powder in them? No. Oh. I just don't really yeah, like, I, I, I like to get like grubby and dirty. I know, me. but the thing is, when you've got nails on, which I have, have you? Yeah, but mine. When I've got nails on and then you cook them with like garlic and spices and all stuff like that, it gets stuck in your nails. Oh, I and like then that. I don't like it. It okay. makes me sick. And obviously we need to be clean and... Health and safety. Health and safety, yes. So we've so got the gloves we've on. We've got our gloves on, we're going to start. Okay, so we're going to go oh, over Amanda, to Amanda, over there. Slow cooker. I'm going to stay over here and drink. So the first thing we do, is we place the ham into the slow cooker then you need to use full fat cola coke cola whatever does it have to be full fat yeah, not diet why because it, you need the um, the sugar in it oh okay so then you pour can you come over to it yeah you pour it all over the gammon sorry i'm just doing instagram stories um then We've got an onion, which is quartered into four. You just put this in like that. One carrot chopped. Drive it round. One celery chopped. Then you've got one bay leaf. This just gives it extra flavour when it's cooking for all that time. So this is the key ingredient for you will taste this when you come to eat the ham it's a cinnamon stick now this makes all the difference so pop that in um, and then you've got peppercorns so we just do one table where did you get them from got them from the butchers so you just do one teaspoon of this so you just push everything down make sure oh it's my all god this is going to be gorgeous and then put the lid on high or low what time we put it on low for six hours. For six hours. Five and a half, actually, put it on left. And there you go, so that's your ham done and dusted. Okay, so now we're gonna do my famous roast potatoes. I have not done these, though. I think we're gonna talk about the pinny. Okay, so Amanda's skitting my pinny. She's like, what did you say? She asked me if I wanted a pinny, and she was giving me one, and I look like a painter and decorator. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it has got paint. I don't know if it's paint know. or flour. Okay, I'm gonna paint put mine, my, my, mine on. Me and Olive, I'll show everyone this because everyone will like these. My friend got me these as with in the me, uh, in my baby shower. So you shower. get the gorgeous one and so I, I get, get the painted and decorated one. The mama <laughs> one. Okay, so we're gonna. So the potatoes that you need are what they call them. I always get the name wrong. Maris Piper. Maris Piper potatoes. Um, so I, you need to do them on Christmas Eve morning, as soon as you wake up before you do anything else. Peel your potatoes. So when I cook the dinner. I normally cook for like over 18 people. So uh, what's the most you've ever cooked for, Amanda? 19. Okay, well I've done 26. 19, 20 I've cooked for. Yeah, 26 and I've done. Like, get up the night before, put your turkey Three in. Three days the before, place. yeah, I'd, yeah. Like get up at five in the morning, and put it in. Yeah, and I do mine in the middle of the night. Yeah, I do, yeah. And then what my biggest tip is with the turkey, because people are gonna ask about the turkey, aren't they? Is get one of them turkey turkey baster. Yeah, yeah. Every fifteen minutes with yeah. butter. Yeah. Fresh it's butter really melts yeah. and squirt it in. My brother says, Yeah, my turkey's the juiciest at the time. So <laughs> weird, doesn't it? But my brother does disgusting. it sounds disgusting. <laughs> okay, so going back to the potatoes, so I'm gonna I mean you can come with me and like follow me out if you want. So you're gonna see where my potatoes are. Ignore the mess. Matt dug up the garden and um, we're getting it done at the end of probably next year, yeah. So my potatoes have been out here, covered up in my Le Creuset pan. I'm going to keep that door open because it's too hot. Um, so these have been overnight outside in cold water. There is your potatoes, okay? So this is a little tip from mine and this just makes them really soft on the inside and really crispy on the outside. Um, so we're going to put them on and put them on the boil. So you want to put it on, and I do mine probably, I'd say everyone does 10 minutes, don't need when they, what do you do? When boiling potatoes, so I do five. 
Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. See, I do like twelve. Yeah. Because I like them like really battered. I don't like them looking perfect and stuff, and you'll see why. Because you got those crispy bits. So we're gonna put them on for about twelve minutes. What's the time now? Tell me what we want, John. Oh, it's thirteen minutes past. So at twenty-five past, we're gonna get these off, okay? Um, and then at, while they're boiling now, wait till you see all the stuff that comes out. So we nearly burnt the house down before. <laughs> It's all good. So your oil, and I've used olive oil mixed with garlic infused olive oil in your pan. So that's in your pan, and then you're gonna get goose fat as well. And um, so I use three different oils. You don't have to do that, but I use three different oils. And then when this comes out, it's gonna be piping hot, and we're gonna um, do a little trick of mine and use the flour as well. So we'll come back to that in a minute. So Amanda, what are you doing? And did you get them from Aldi? No, I didn't I I to, you sent me to the Tesco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I'm, I'm doing this dish, I'm doing um, parmesan um, and garlic carrots. So I'm going to, I use rainbow carrots for this one. So you literally just chop the ends off and then cut them in half. And then I'm going to half them all like that to the small. Okay. So what have you got planned for next year, Amanda? Obviously, is it all based on the the book and things like that um, obviously i would like to continue doing books and bring them more comfortable yeah yeah I've got loads of ideas don't what? give them away I'm no i'm not giving them. any away no, but i've got loads of that. ideas what i'm going to do so what's the space with the book situation so yeah. what about you then what have you got going on at the minute um so what have i got planned for next year well it's my 30th Oh, is it? Yeah, I told you. I'm having the big party, yeah, which you're obviously did. coming to. Can I just um, this while yeah. we're talking? Um, so, yeah, so I've obviously got my 30, so i am you know, got loads to do with that. And then, obviously, with Home and Bargain, I think it's March. We've got all our stuff coming now, like, in bundles. So, you know, the brushes. We're going to do, like, bundles and lash bundles and stuff like that. Yeah. And then new products that we've been working on for the last, like... But when I went in the other day, I seen your ring light. Oh, my God, which one? Um, I don't know. It was just a ring light, and I was like, there was one left, and it, it was a, like a, um, it was like a, a proper ring light. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a proper one. It's got one two left. phone holders and a mirror. It's the best ring light ever, but no one can get hold of it. There was one left, and I was like, this one was like all over it. Oh, and I was like, was wait, she nice and let her have it. I was waiting for her to move, so I was gonna like swipe it. And she took it, I was like, oh. So I didn't get it. But I, I know none it. of my mates have had like free promo or like free freebies of the gifts thing because i've i haven't even like got one it's because they're, so, they're dead hard to get hold of to do with the shipping and stuff Guys, like that can i just interrupt and make you understand this is why i wear gloves because you, you do when you are making these things you need to do really put fresh garlic in i mean the squeezy one and the one i think it's processed isn't it ah, but i love that i do love it anything for a short cup but when we're doing these types of things and in a cookbook you have got to use fresh you know ingredients the closer to the ground the better it with ingredients so you have got to use it. This is why I use it a lot because this is why I wear gloves. I mean, because when you're peeling garlic and that, you know, it two, does stink. Two days later, when you like scratch your nose, and, and or if you're like me, a makeup artist, and you're yeah, doing someone's and wedding, you've got garlic fingers. It's not. It's really not good. So no. this is why I wear gloves. Yeah. So yeah. Go on. Carry on. <laughs> um, I can't remember. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, and then there's just like obviously new things coming, like with like collaborations. So obviously I've collaborated. With the motherhood diary, oh, should yes. I have that, should I have that here? Yeah, I really? have I'll go and get it in a minute. Yeah. Um, so the motherhood, I, I mean, when we launched it, we called it a diary, but I feel like it's a journal. So yeah. I'll talk about it in a minute because it's got like lists of things. Like I really believe in like manifestation. Do you? Yeah. Like, do you? Yeah, yeah. And I really believe that in order to like get anywhere in this life that is very awful and very hard because it is isn't it yeah um i believe you need to take care of yourself so like self-care is very important as a mom very obviously your your little girl's a lot older now yeah like you do because i feel like when you're a mom you forget about you forget about what you yeah, want of course do you think that yeah because all your concentration is on on your baby yeah whereas yeah, so a lot of people lose themselves yeah i did though you know lose your direction you lose yeah. your focus you don't know what you're doing but you seem to be like juggling it all and doing it amazing, so. I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people do message me and say like, how do you do it all? But I think I wasn't for the first nine months. I think I was really like struggling as in like, I just lived in hoodies and leggings, yeah. which I, which you do when you've just had a baby. But then after that, 
I was like, no, I need to start looking after myself. So I've yeah. lost like over two stone. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just you put it all back on. I put, I put it all back on now <laughs> from that night out that me and you had. We've just been like drinking, going out. We've had, we've had so many events. You know what? So it's haven't Christmas, we? so it's allowed. And yeah. Then, you know, we've got January. We might be going into lockdown. Might as well just enjoy it while we can. Yeah. While we're in lockdown, just. Exactly. Wait, well, I'm doing the one. calorie deficit so I can eat what I want. Yeah. So I've just got to track it all. But it's like, yeah. So, it's yeah. So I feel like as a mum, you need to look after yourself. So this diary is for that. So it basically forces you every week, like in the thing, in the in the diary, it's your family goals and personal goals. So every week, when it's the start of a new week, you'll write down your goals for you and your family. Oh, yeah. And then you've got like your budgeting as well for like you and your family with. Obviously, because with money yeah. and stuff, especially with January starting. Um, I need to have a look at it. I know, I'll get it in a minute. Okay, right, so this is the garlic and parmesan and carrots. Oh, oh. So obviously, I have Are a chop. truffle as well? No, no truffle. Oh, okay. I have a good truffle because a lot of people don't like truffle, do they? Don't they? Well, I, I love it. And so Who do are these you. people? There is people who don't like it. I don't so like So I've chopped people. the carrots, washed them, so you pour them into the bowl. Then we put your garlic in, which is four cloves of garlic chopped, two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs, and then we just need a little bit of olive oil. Just give it a little drizzle like that. And then basically just mix it all up. When you taste these, the end result is just wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. These are Matt's favourite. Oh, yeah, the whole dinner, carrots and... Um, no, no, no. Well, I know I, I do the bacon ones like you do, so they're nice. Yeah, but these are in like a creamy cheese. Oh, oh, oh I can't wait. So I'm, nice. so, I'm actually really excited <laughs> to try this. So, put a little bit of salt and pepper on. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'll show you what to do. Just line them all up like this. Oh my god, Amanda. I just arrange them so they are all flat. And I'm going to turn them over as well halfway through. Okay, so I think it's been 13 minutes. Um, yeah. I, I, to be honest, I just don't really. I know because obviously you've done a cookbook and you're more of a professional cook, whereas I'm a bit more like just go with the flow. So draining your potato. But you need to keep some of that potato water because you're going to use that for your gravy. So I'm going to get me goose fat. Do you use goose fat for your potatoes? Yeah, but in that suck fat. Oh, that's fine. Can you? Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> oh my god, we might have to have our lovely cameraman Christina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nearly. It's all the percent. Loose top. I mean, it's watery and that's, that's what we want. Goose so and duck fat, the same Yeah, thing. goose and duck, duck, uh, duck fat. So you want to pour it in into your pan. Do the whole thing, none of this hard-hearted nonsense. Um, so what I'm actually going to do this over here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pour put me potatoes into here. And then you sort of want to bash them around. So you... So you want to be quite aggressive. I like the inside to be the fluffiest, mushiest ever. So you want to get your um, oil boiling hot. Boiling hot. So you want to put this on the heat so you've got your oil here. And then individually you want to take this and you want to drop it in and coat it. See like that? And you'll do that individually and you want them all separated. What happens if you've got like five hundred potatoes? Well, you've got to do it. You've just got to do it. You've just got to make the time. I'm going to get my garlic, and as I said, you want to keep it. You, you do want to sort of push the garlic in, just so it opens up a bit. And I like to use a lot of garlic, and you want to use fresh, but I'm going to keep it in the thing, otherwise it's going to burn. Um, I'm going to get my flour. I always put my flour over the top with a spoon, uh, with a fork as well, just so it's like. And I'm dead messy. Amanda's dead neat. We've lost the rosemary. Amanda brought rosemary, the fresh one. So normally you want to put your fresh rosemary in, but a little bit. But you just want to like brush it, like coat it in. Um. So we're gonna use not fresh rosemary and just put it over the top. So you don't want to put too much on, and then you need salt and pepper. That. I don't know about you, Amanda, but salt and pepper to me is essential. I put a lot of salt on mine. 
and then black pepper. Um, me and my brother love white pepper. It's like a family thing, so we always put a lot of white pepper in your gravy, but not on your roasties. And you want to put them in at about 119 until crispy as, and you want to keep turning them. So we're going to pop them in. In fact, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pop them on 195. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with the leek, potato, mushroom. I'm actually going to do a bit of truffle in this though, you know. I know we said no truffle, but I'm going to put the truffle in it. Um, so you want to wash your leeks, like so. There's no actual special way of washing your leeks. And if you're a busy mum like me, Amanda's not going to like this. I'm using um, frozen onions and... I'm all for it. I am um, anything for the shortcut. Oh, okay. Really. But in your cookbook you can't. In your cookbook, no. no. And then garlic granules because I can't. I mean, I will use some fresh granules, but yeah, garlic granules are fine. Yeah, it's yeah. Easy garlic. That's how thick that you want to cook cook your leeks, if you can see that. So, um, obviously, I've cut the sprouts, chopped those sprouts, washed them. Then you get the. This is literally smoked lean sliced bacon. It's just like little cubes of bacon. I mean, you can buy the big bacon at the door, but this is time. Pretty easier, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And as I say, I like a shortcut. Yeah, we Especially do. Especially when you're making loads of things, you know. For loads of people, people on Christmas. You're making a shortcut. And obviously you're making cooking for loads of people, so, so you literally you just fry them off for now. And then I like to put my garlic in with the bacon. Oh, yeah. So I am using, I actually think, well, I actually think this is like a meat knife, but I just like something really sharp. Obviously, I have had a couple of Prosecco, so I'm hoping I don't chop my finger off. So basically, the ingredient of this is leeks, um, mushrooms, diced frozen onions, um, thingy granules. Talk to me about the meat cleaver. Well, I just like a really <laughs> sharp knife, to tell you the truth, guys. <laughs> the size of it. I just like a really sharp knife. So Amanda's doing behind the scenes. Um, I've just chopped everything up, as you can see. And I'm going to put all this in the pan, um, well, the leeks in the pan to boil. And then I want you to come back. I'm going to chop the potatoes so I'm going to show you what we do with that. I don't need to talk on this, but do I? Just don't cut that pan on where mine is. I'm going to do my mushrooms now. So they're all in the pan. Um, I've actually done it in the, the pan where the potatoes were with the goose fat. Um, because, oh no, it's duck fat, isn't it? So you've got your onions, if you want to come and have a little look. So you've got your onions. I actually like wearing these gloves, Amanda. Um, and I'm going to put loads of garlic granules in. Like, once again, no measurements of me. Just go for gold. And you just want to mix it all <laughs> together. And then I'm going to put some garlic oil and butter. And they're just going to be steamed. I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm going to steam them. And then I'm going to put some truffle and then single cream. Um, you're also going to use that water, which is from your potatoes, to make the, um, the sauce nice and thick. And then a tablespoon of corn flour. So when you're cooking your leeks, um, you want to get these garlic and thyme stock pots from Tesco. So whenever I'm cooking pasta or anything, I always cook the pasta in, in, a, in a stock. Do you remember done that, Amanda? Yeah. Yeah. It just adds more flavour, doesn't it, to it? Hey guys, so um, I'm going to get these baby potatoes. And this is just, again, this is like such a weird, random recipe. Everything I do now is very easy and quick. Um, you can use like a smaller, Amanda keeps taking the mick out of my um, chopping thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop up some baby potatoes. I'm going to use this to layer in your, the dog's going mad, someone Meryl will be at the door. Um, so you just want to chop up your potatoes and you want to do... The whole bag basically baby potatoes from tesco you do you can use bigger potatoes and take the skin off but i like the skin um so this is a dish that i haven't completely made up myself i did this the other week put it on my story and you all went mad for it um and i was like recipe will be up on the youtube okay? yeah it'll be someone's at max so once the bacon is completely well near enough cooked you take that out pour it into quiet 
what is that? And then you've got two spoonful, two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let that melt a little bit. You put all your sprouts in. And you literally just fry them in butter. About 10 minutes until they go a little bit brown. So, um, while I'm having a little five minute rest, so talk to me about the um, the child situation now. Where are you up to with all that? Because you found out who one of yours was, wasn't you? One? Well, three of them. More than three. So, uh, yeah. Really? So basically, yeah, I've had the police involved um, with mine because obviously mine's been going on for like two years. Yeah. I was actually suicidal. I know. Um, obviously, this was before I had all. Yeah, they, they posted that? my address, yeah. posted my phone number. Um, the, like a few of these people, well, one in particular, she lives by here. No. Yeah. So she's like, she knows you? I've never met her. She went, she went and seen my mum and her darling. She booked in with my cousin to get her hair done for a year to find out information. Um, that is like full on story. Oh no, yeah. you wait Materials. for the rest. She got Matt round to go and price up a job for panelling. And then lied and said that, but, uh, uh, like her husband and that was that honestly you wouldn't even believe what's happened. So the police are involved wow. so I can't really say, say much on much. the camera. But Obviously you're not going to say who it is but you can say what they did. Well, really I could scary. say who it is and yeah. I could post it but... When I spoke to her and stuff, she was obviously very Have you spoke to her? Yeah, yeah. I, she was she booked on my online course in lockdown. So I actually had her number. I found this really freaky. Yeah, How I did. did. It's quite out? scary, How isn't it? How did you it? find out who it was then? Well, obviously with the police and stuff like that, yeah. with them being involved and they've been so helpful and stuff. And I think people do need to understand when they are trolling people off fake accounts because she was off a fake account. And she still got yeah, found yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, she still yeah. got found out. Like, I know where she lives. Like, oh... We're bubbling here, we're bubbling. bubbling. Um, so I, I know where she lives and things like that, but I just feel like I'm not a revenge type person and I do believe that people go through stages of their life and make mistakes yeah, where... there's no excuse. I know, I know. And she, uh -huh. she was messaging Matt, saying like horrible things about me and saying that I don't deserve all of us, my daughter. Would you not Because I would. I know, so this is what everyone keeps saying, but I just personally don't... I don't believe in revenge, so I'm still undecided on what to do. I'm still like in like talks with the police on like what can happen like legally and stuff. So that's why I can't really speak much more about it. I just feel it. like if someone has if someone has purposely tried to ruin your life for that long mm. and like, ruin your family and have you suicidal, the only reason she'd be sorry now is because she got caught. Yeah. And if she didn't get caught, she would have carried on. And you know, imagine something did happen to you and you did. You know, yeah. um, it's affected your whole life. So I feel like these people do need to be accountable for what they do. Yeah, well, I was speaking to like um, someone about it not long ago, and they were saying that people are they're doing these things because there's no um, what's the word? There's no like consequence of what they're doing. Since I've spoken about mine and all that, obviously I thought, oh, I'm bringing a book out. Watch me get trolled. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. Going like, oh, you take you know, you're not a chef. I've said from the start, I don't. You're not a chef. chef. I'm not Amanda, trying to be a chef. You are though. I'm just, you know, I just enjoy cooking, and I wanted to bring something out but that's, that's easy, yeah, yeah. easy for, for people, people on the go know, yeah. to do, and they can cook from scratch without having to have a big crazy list of ingredients. Stuff that you can't get in the shops. I just wanted to do something simple for people like us on the go, busy with kids. Just like normal people, yeah. like mums, yeah. like without have, without them having to put a yeah. ready meal into the oven. So have you had anything then? So I was thinking I'm gonna get hell from and this. You haven't. Well I've I have not had nothing, but I think that's because I spoke about it on yeah. the podcast and I was very open and I said, you know, I would name and shame because I mean I'm not a big revenge person, but if so someone's yeah, affected I get me that it. much, I think why should you why why should their family and friends and work colleagues... Yeah, because my family have been through hell and back. Why should, yeah. why should their family and friends and their kids and yeah. not know that they're a troll? Imagine finding out your mate was a troll. Oh, trot. I know. So, uh, so, I would so, wanna, so, so I this would person's not. friends and family does know because I've had to speak to them and stuff. What about you and everyone in their workplace doesn't she know? She doesn't have a job. Oh, well, I and, um, and I feel lot. bad because she's got, like, two kids. So, but, what? So, why does she feel bad? I know. I, this is what, like... like Pe so like Cheryl always says to me, "Oh, why do you feel? I know. Why do you feel bad?" I know, but I, so listen. Anyone what? who's happy doesn't hate. So I've had to exactly. do a lot of like research. So I listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff, and I'm a very positive person. Like nothing now can actually affect me. Like when something bad happens. 
that was yeah. annoying. Sorry, I, I had like this big bang. Um, anyway, so nothing really affects me anymore. So yeah. when, so I like I listened to this podcast about this guy in America, and something really, really bad happened to him, and he like someone tried to kill him, and he had a big slice in his face. Really? Yeah, yeah, and he his his podcast is about forgiveness and like gratitude and like you know just sort of like forgiving someone who's really hurt yeah so i believe now like it's not about me what they've done like it's what they say doesn't mean anything because i've got the most amazing friends and family and so have you yeah. we've got like a really good group haven't we like yeah. in our life and yeah. we have a ball when we go out we've got a good yeah. life haven't yeah. We? Yeah, yeah so so it, it says more about them than it does us. So instead of like hating on them and like wanting this like naming and shaming, I actually feel sorry for these people. Yeah. And I've got the power, like I could post them tomorrow. Yeah. But I, as I said, I don't believe in revenge, but it's not about revenge, it's about forgiveness, which for me, I'm a bigger person for forgiving yeah. them. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, but. I still and think, I do, I do, yeah. I still think that why should they get away with it I as know. well? It's but they're not going to get away with it. They're not. No, they're not. And Carmen will work. And they way. will all get caught. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they will. They will. Anyway, So we've got the leeks and bacon, my sprouts, truffle, sprouts oh, oh god yeah, what did I say? Leeks and bacon, oh, you say sprouts yeah. and bacon? I've had a Prosecco haven't I? Um, <laughs> so I'm doing the mushrooms, <laughs> garlic, truffle, potato, leek, bake with crumbs. And this is garlic and creamy garlic and parmesan sprouts of bacon. I can say it Potato. Well. <laughs> you caught <Yeah>. me up. <laughs> So now, if you just, I want you to look at this and look how unreal. In fact, I'm going to put the heat back on it because I'm going to add the... So, I always talk about this truffle thing and I've actually got loads of, like, influencers on this. Um, so this is truffle pesto from Marks and Spencers. It's, I think it's £2.50 or £2. And it is the cheapest, best, most strongest tasting truffle you will ever, ever get. So it's, um, I'm doing truffle and garlic, so you just want to pop that in and you just want to mix it in. It is the nicest thing ever. Oh, can you smell that truffle, man, there? Oh my God. It's really, it. yeah, but have you ever had this truffle pesto from Marxies? Yeah, I've had it, it's unreal. It's the best. I think it's like the strongest smelling. Otherwise, when you cook truffle, guys, if you use truffle oil, the, the, um, it burns, like the, the, the taste of it goes. So then I'm going to go in with single cream, the whole lot. Don't be shy, don't be shy with it. Um, and then you want to take that off the heat. Um, so I'm going to add the leeks and then they're going to be added to the potatoes. I love leeks, leeks are my favourite thing. Yeah, I like leeks as well. Um, so there's the leeks. Oh my god, that looks unreal. Mm. So once all your sprouts and your bacon and your cream have all cooked, then you sprinkle it all with mozzarella cheese. Oh, mozzarella? Why do you use mozzarella and not normal cheese? You can, you, you can use, you can use, you can use, you can use the grated cheese, you can use yeah, any yeah. grated cheese. So you sprinkle that all on and then you get your parmesan. Can mm. you put your parmesan on it? Sprinkle it all on. So it's a bit like a sprout cheesy beef. I'm going to put this on the bottom of the oven because this only takes 20 minutes um, to cook when you put it on the bottom. It'll, you can just add it in there for a little bit longer while the room is decent early finished. So I've just put in two big handfuls of mature cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese in this. Parmesan will be really nice as well but Obviously, I know Amanda's doing parmesan, so I didn't want to get the parmesan. So then, what's in there? Now, as I said, you could have this on your own, and you could serve it as it is. This would be lovely with a beef wellington, steak, roast potatoes, or even a pie. If you wanted to put some chicken in it, some phyllo pastry, that would be a really nice pie filling. So this is my little tip for when you want to do potatoes, if you've got too many pans on. Put them in the microwave. Um, with some oil, I'm just going to put a little bit more oil on because I feel a bit dry. 
you can never have too much oil. Again, calories don't count. So we're gonna pop that back in and then we're gonna put it on the microwave um, for about 10 minutes and then you're gonna put it, so it's basically half cooked and then you're gonna put it in your dish with your leeks, your mushrooms and then my topping. So when I peeled the potatoes, in fact, I need to show you the thing one sec. Let me get it. When you're do, doing your potatoes, Sorry, don't peel them it. with like, you know, the, the neat one you want. This is from Ikea. It's a bit like a scraper sort of thing. So there it is. That was from yesterday when I obviously did the potatoes. So look, on this. that's like for your crumble at the top. So this so is you've got your peelings. shredded potato yeah. peelings for the top of it with cheese, with oil on the top and wait till you see when it comes out. It is mega. So what we're doing now is, I mean, I've turned most of these. Can we just look at that? Half, oh my God, help, yeah. Okay, so we just turn, Amanda's so good, she can come anytime. She's like, should we tidy up a bit? And I'm like, no, let's leave it till the end. Okay, so these, you, you are meant to take the skin off them, but I didn't, because they're baby potatoes. Um, so yeah. you're just going to pour all this in. I think I've done a bit too much. I'm going to see how much there is. And then this is the best part now. Like, look at that, guys. Look at that, Amanda. Smell it. Mm. Put your head in it and smell it. Oh, wow. That does smell really good, it doesn't so it? Right, so you just want to pour all this over the top. Woo. Wow. So what is this dish called? Kate? This could be a pie, couldn't it? Like, what is this one called? I don't know. I've just made it up. I made it up as you went along. Well, I've made it. I've made it once before, but I made it up as I go along. So it's truffle, garlic, mushroom, wow. <laughs> cheese, potato, um, and leek bake. It smells <laughs> unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to go in now with the um, what are they called potato. Shavings. I'm done with this, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to put this over the top, and this is going to be like sort of your crumble, your breadcrumbs. I am going to put some breadcrumbs over the top of this. So this is my pantry, and it's actually amazing. Um, but as you can see, just Matt, change the bowl. Matt needs to change the bowl. <laughs> I haven't got the bowl. We need to give this a name. This dish, don't we? The KHM. The KHM truffle crumble. Truffle crumble. There we okay. go. Okay, so then you're gonna get your breadcrumbs. I don't know where these are from, probably Home Bargain. So this is like the best bit. Oh, you've just gotta have cheese. The smell is unreal, you know? And it's very big as well, like as this would probably do 10 people. Okay, so you're gonna put your oil over the top and then you're gonna salt and pepper, season it. Man doesn't like this pepper, and to be honest, I do because it's really hard to get out. Truffle and garlic. Guys, look at this. Straight, truffle and garlic bake. Is that what we said? We crumble. 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 Unreal. Where's that? Me and garlic. It smells so good. so good. I'm sorry, but they're the best Reese's I've ever, ever done. Like, look how crispy they are on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. Oh, my God. Look at that. Amanda, look how fluffy. Mm. That roasty is. Can we taste a bit? Yeah, let's do a taste test. Mm. Oh my mm. God, they're well wow. With gravy. So nice. Mm. Oh my God. So now to the glaze for the ham. So we do 150 millilitres of maple syrup. Pour that in. And then we do two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Two. And then two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. And then we do a pinch of Chinese five spice. honey. Wow. And then we mix that all up. Amanda, this sauce is the one. Honestly it is. Wait till you taste. Take the ham out the slow cooker. Wow. Put it there. Wow. Just take this off. Mm -hmm. 
recipe for the best Yorkshire puddings ever. I've done this in lockdown and so many people were buying Aunt Bessie's, buying homemade, not homemade, sorry, ready-made ones from the supermarket and they just don't cut it. So once you try this recipe, you will never go back to normal Yorkshire puddings. It's super simple. It's just some oil, flour, eggs and milk. That is it. So the secret which I'm going to show you now. Obviously, I've done this batter earlier and I've left it overnight because that is the secret. The longer you leave the batter, the better. So, you're going to do flour. So, the, the flour, this, this, this makes about six to eight. So, 140 grams of plain flour. And then you've got 200 millilitres of milk. And then you're going to do four eggs. Four eggs. Obviously, what you don't get no shell in, and then you literally just whisk it up, and you're going to make a batter. Obviously, you need a whisk. I don't know where your whisk is. I'm sure. Oh, there you go. She's got one, but she's got one. So you whisk it up like this. until you've got a really thick batter, no lumps in, make sure you've got no, no lumps in it. And then you're just gonna literally leave it for 24 hours. If you haven't got 24 hours, you can't make it the night before, that's fine. What I, I do is I make the batter, I put cling film over it, and then I put it in the fridge overnight and just leave it. And then it makes them rise better. Um, but I made some batter the night before and I bought that with me, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just showing you literally how you actually do it. And see now it's got no lumps in. If you haven't got time to leave it for overnight, just leave it for two hours. So do it first before you start all your meat and your potatoes and all that. And then just leave it like that. That is it. Leave it out like that. And then let it cool down. Calm, sorry, not cool down. Calm down. No bubbles in. And then you're ready to pour it into your... Um, Tray. So what I also do, what also you need to do is, where's the oil? Like on 200 to 220, heat it right up for about 5-10 minutes and then you're going to put your batter in when it's super hot and that makes, that helps the flour rise. When you've done your batter, pour it in a jug as well and then when you're leaving it, to rest, yeah. put it in a jug of cling film because if you put it in a jug, it's just a lot easier now to pour into your muffin trays when you do your door cheese dressing. And I did say if you have more time to leave overnight, two hours is fine. Yeah. They are hands down the best carrots I've ever eaten in my life. Taste one of these then, the sprouts of parmesan. Okay. And I don't like sprouts, remember guys. Oh my god, they melt in your mouth. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, I one. <laughs> so guys, I am going to use some of Aman Amanda's slow cooker. Slow cooker. Uh, what is it, Amanda? The 
it's a, it's just the the sauce. That's what the sauce. Yeah. It's like already a gravy, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Guys, I wish I wish you could smell on the video how unreal this kitchen smells. So nice. I'm all yeah. now, you know. Okay, yeah. so all Sorry, I've what? done now is I've put um <laughs> some of the um, bisto onion granules, but I didn't have enough. So, which is fine, it doesn't matter because of all the flavours. Get a little bit of corn flour. Now, this is cold, so a lot of people add their corn flour and their gra gravy granules and stuff cold. Okay. Sorry, when the when the water's cold, um, hot, but I always do it. My dad taught me to do it cold. If you add your flour or your corn flour into any water-based things, always do it when it's cold, and then you don't get lumps in it. So this is on the hob, it's on a medium to high heat. I've took all the garlic bits out. You can drain this as well. Um, and you can use all like your leftover onions and stuff like that. What obviously you put your turkey on on Christmas day. But this is the best homemade gravy ever. <laughs> Amazing food, and now we are going to eat. So we're going to do the taste test. Yeah, we are. Cheers! Cheers Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas.